important day in the Christian uh, calendar. Uh, it's uh, a period of uh, merrymaking because without Easter there will not be Christianity. Uh, Jesus Christ died on Good Friday and woke up uh, uh, on, on Easter Sunday and that's the beginning of our belief. Uh, the 40 days of fasting to enable us to cleanse ourselves of uh, all the humorous, uh, uh, if you will, sins that we've committed. And um, I believe one day Anambra is a period uh, Easter will bring uh, will usher in a new uh, faith in what we are doing, a, a, a strengthening of uh, the good deeds that we are doing, and a period to throw away uh, the bad ones you know, throw away corruption, uh, pay our taxes as I went to, uh, stop illegal levies, collection, you know, all those bad things that we are doing. This is the period to throw them away. It's a period to bring in the good works, prayer for the country, unity of purpose, you know, uh, ecumenism in the Christian church world, you know, uh, living with one another, irrespective of their uh, background, religion and what have you, you know. So happy Easter to everybody in the Anambra. You know, uh, I want to use this opportunity to reassure you that uh, Anambra remains the safest state in Nigeria, safest state in Nigeria, you know, and uh, the little storm in the teacup we had uh, 
a few days back will be a thing of the past because we are going to arrest them with ease and deal with them uh, in our usual method very ruthlessly you know and uh, there's a warning for all criminals to avoid an umbrella because uh, so God bless Anambra, God bless Nigeria, God bless uh, all of us. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Thank you. How can you positively add value to the society that produced you? How can you affect changes? where changes needed to be done, especially in Nigeria today as a country. As we are going to the National Assembly, what best can we do to ensure that this country is moving on the required trajectory? So it is very important that all of us, including you, the media people, advance further in positivity and ensure that the country is living up to the standard required by the, even the peasant ones. And, um, our Dontrodians are less privileged in our mix as you enjoy Easter celebration. Are you sure that they're enjoying in their own various homes? Because I, and this desperate, being desperate to ensure that those around me, I also enjoy it. So you preach to them and talk to people, see what His Excellency has been saying even in the church today. And that's one of those things you need to admonish to make sure that people are being carried along in the right direction. And this country must move on the required trajectory so that the economy and the viability of the economy in this country will be assured and people will smile. Thank you. I thank God. I urge an Umbrarians to try and live in harmony with each other and pay their taxes and behave well, have a good conduct and good relationship with each other and the fear of God. Uh, it's not time to be a mixed feeling. A mixed feeling that uh, our Lord Jesus Christ sacrificed his life for us. A very wonderful feeling because he rose. He was resurrected from the dead. And that is the pain of Christianity. That is why we are Christians. That's why we are faithful. So it should be a time that we shall be happy especially coming out from 40 days and 40 nights of night. So Easter time is a time of sober reflection. We need to reflect on what we have done for the year, reflect on our life, and come up and make a resolution that we are going to do it better. It's a time you help the needy. It's a time you, if anybody has offended you, forgive. It's a time of forgiveness. So that now it is Christ has risen. You have a new life in yourself. This is a new beginning.